guys. I pulled these tiki torch canisters out of some beat up tiki torches I had that got left out over the winter. And I'm gonna make a hexagon tabletop holder. It's gonna have a cement base, so check it out. I started by making the form for the cement. I used some scrap picture frame material and I took it over to my bandsaw and I set my miter gauge to 30 degrees to cut the pieces for the hexagon. So I've got the jig mostly set up. I'm gonna screw it down to this scrap piece of plywood and fill in the gaps here and go ahead and mix up some cement and pour it in. You can check out how I made this hardware bin in one of my earlier videos. Once I had the form completely screwed down, I filled in all the gaps with some caulking. I bought some Quickrete fast setting concrete mix. I definitely wouldn't recommend getting this for this type of project. It had a lot of big rocks in it that I ended up sifting out. And sifting them out actually worked out really great. I was able to get like a nice smooth finish and not have any big rocks in it. You definitely want to make sure you put on some gloves if you really start working with this stuff. Now, if you're working with cement and you've never watched one of Ben Ueda's videos, you should go check those out. He's where I got that idea to use the palm sander to kind of rustle out all the bubbles. I came back the next night and everything was fully dried. It said it would have dried in 20 minutes, but I ran out of time and came back the next day. It mostly came right out. I did need to use a putty knife there to get it off the plywood, but for the most part, not a lot of bubbles and it was pretty smooth all the way around. I did sand the edges down a little bit. I was now ready to cut the wooden part of the holder. And I'm not sure what this wood is, but if you know, let me know. I'd love to know. This is just some scrap wood that I got free. I'm cutting 30 degree angles on all of my pieces here, and then I'm gonna go back and cross cut them. Ideally, I would have liked to have the grain run all the way around, but I just didn't have enough material for that. And since I was using stuff I already had, I had to just make do. This was the first test fit I did. And I knew these pieces were gonna be short. I just didn't realize how short they were gonna be. I cut the first couple on the wrong dimension so I figured I would just end up cutting them all that way and and hope that it wasn't too short so what I came up with was to put a little hexagon ring underneath the main piece to give it kind of some contrast between the cement and the darker wood you'll see what it looks like here in a minute and I think it came out pretty good for a on the fly uh, design the glue will be plenty to hold this thing together. I didn't feel the need to add any other extra support. So I just glued up all the joints and taped it together all the way around. I did apply a little bit of pressure and did a couple wrappings of tape. I realized that just the square edge didn't really look aesthetically pleasing. I decided to put a chamfer all the way around the top. I'm not exactly sure what angle I put this at. It kind of just felt right, so I just went with it. I decided to use some PL Loctite construction adhesive here. I had it left over from a closet rebuild. I felt that it was going to be strong enough and I didn't need to screw the pieces together. I originally thought I would either screw or bolt up from the bottom and everything seemed to hold together really well. I was very careful to make sure I didn't use too much. If a little bit did squeeze out, I was able to clean it up with just some water. Once it dried, I had to use a utility knife to scrape some of it away and touch up a little bit of the black paint. I tried out some different finishes on a scrap piece of wood and I really liked how the tongue oil came out, so I decided to go with that.
Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope this inspired you to get out and make something. Thanks, and take care.